Hey, how's it going? Today I will show you how to get a Steam Fire application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. Steam Fire is an app that a lot of people use to watch live TV online. There are hundreds of channels available from all over the world. I just had to blur out my screen a bit because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact channels available inside that app, but trust me, you are going to like it. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Steam Fire to your Fire Stick or Android device. First of all, you have to get an app, Code Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device. Here it is, open it, and start typing Downloader in the search bar. As you can see, Downloader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on Downloader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get Downloader, it's not over yet we still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. Let's do it. Click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, from here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is a tab and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Norway right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we gotta open the Downloader application. Let's open the list of apps on our device. And there's the Downloader. Open it. Here on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, click on Home. And there in that spot, we gotta enter a link, which is going to be streamfireapp.tv. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's gotta be stream. Far app dot TV. TV. So make sure to enter the link exactly as you see on your screen right now and do not make any mistakes because obviously if you make a mistake the link is not going to work. After that you click on go and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you could get even more content about Fire Sticks as well as hit the like button below this video. This way I'll be able to create even more content for you. Trust me, this little like button really helps me a lot. And now when the website has opened, we gotta click on download now. 
and in a couple of moments video load is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but it all depends on your connection speed. After that click on install and wait until the app gets installed to your Fire Stick. After that click on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation file, which we don't really need anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary installation files on your Fire Stick. After that, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it, scroll down to the bottom, and here you'll find Stream Fire application, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Stream Fire app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.